Hello there everyone, welcome back once again as we're back in for another episode of Dead Cells as we once again try to beat the... Actually no, we're not really trying once again, we are just simply attempting to beat the... High, the new difficulty that we have, which is health mode, so... Second four way, so not too much to expect I would say, but... It'll be interesting to see if we can try to beat it. Can't really afford to be too slow now. Uh, not that way. I guess question becomes which way do we want to go? Promenade or sewers? Sewers would probably be the better way since we know that plays a lot better than the promenade, so let's go ahead and anyway. Well we made the spice interest, we actually managed to get the kills and in the uh two minute marker. Well we didn't see that too many times. Rapier, Topaz, Silver Slicer. What about on 30 kills? Go bigger. I like light speed. I think I'll take the light speed. So, I guess the. I mean, logically, the next one will be the Rapier. Yeah, sure. Personally, I would prefer keeping with the Valmont's whip, but eh. Maybe I is a the worst, I guess. So let's go ahead and grab the combo so that way we can get that stacking damage. Alright. Let's see if we can do this. That's a sixer. Uh, uh, no thanks. No thanks. And continue with all. Come on. Keep it moving. Oh my. That's really? Oh my god, the way has a stupid uh, thing. Like all the other weapons, where if the enemy is full too high, you can't bloody hit them, which is stupid. Oh, uh, 
okay, so. Well, the more you learn about me, the food that we can get from the walls is also infected. So, if we eat that, we will get. So, food from drop from enemies is good, but food that we find on the ground, not good. That's fun. So much but less gain from just simply having a simple command. Wait, excuse me. What do we have? Well, that was a weird direction. What do we have in here? Have a crossbow? No thanks. Last year has increased. I have no idea what that would mean. And ancient suits are being incentivized, but we are still going to be taking the. Oh my god. Bloody bat! That enemy. Oh my god, these bloody bats. I hate these. They just float around at the most irritating angles. Alright, let's go ahead and health bot. Okay, so. Looks like by health flasking we can uh, reduce our mess. We only were up at stage 2, so I'm not too sure how far we it can go. I will take a cudgel over the other shield. have as much damage as the way we have back, sadly. I think I would honestly prefer... I'm missing doesn't seem like it. I think we might just simply go for uh, the shop and see if they are selling weapons because if they are then I am desperately going to be buying a new one because uh, maybe it has just simply not been working. Skills, damn it. Alright. Well I guess we can always replace the frost grenade. Uh, 
Oh, I, I help. Dude, corrupt the pussy man. Hopefully, the curse chest will give us something good. Give us a frenzy so we can recover a little bit of health. And prison we go. Alright, what do you have for me? Hollow power? Are you kidding? Nope. Well. Please tell me you play. Thank you. Okay, give me. Oil sword, I mean. Can't tell, wall, but. You guys will go walk with the pure nail. Oh my goodness, trying to juggle the pure nail sometimes can be very difficult. Okay. So what does our pure nail even have? Uh, more damage when we uh, have a lot of health and critical hits. Okay. I really should try and avoid getting hit too many times. So we have sewers, and I'm gonna assume the ramparts. Well, ramparts are being incentivized, so why not? Let's see here. Let's go with tainted flask. Want more elites on the board so that way we can kill them and then refill our health flasks. Without any ways to recharge, we kinda do need a way so that way uh, we, we don't just simply die. Is 
Let's see, we got wet key. Squeen. Oh, come off, Cliff. Oh, what? Uh, I thought we were going st I thought we didn't have to worry about that. <sighs> Damn it. Well, I probably deserve that for uh, trying to walk around with low health, but I mean... I actually learned something about that wasn't related to the. Well, I guess we did learn something about the health difficulty from it, but the first thing we learned was the fact that uh, eating food off the ground causes the malaise to skyrocket, and drinking out flask will decrease the malaise. So that's good to know. But apparently, I actually learned a fun fact is that you don't really need like the uh, speed buff from just simply being on a killing streak. You can actually get the speed buff from weapons that give you the speed buff after killing and that will also proc the frenzy since uh, I noticed that. But uh, I guess we're gonna have to uh, say goodbye for this episode because we utterly failed. So I hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did make sure to like button, comment down below and hit that subscribe for you guys and girls that make this channel live and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye now.